Hello, I'm Terry Connerton. I'm the director of the Spartanburg Airport. And I'm pleased to present today a program we're going to be called SCAPS. It's the Spartanburg Community Aviation Program developed by the uh, Spartanburg Science Centre and the Spartanburg Downtown Airport. One of the main missions at the airport is three parts. We like to celebrate the past with the history, the present and the future. With the future, we like to focus on the young people's development with aviation. Therefore, we put together a program allow at least six candidates from the local schools to come into the airport and experience aviation firsthand. Activities include changing oil in an airplane, flying a glider, powered aircraft, and simulators. So what we do, we're taking local airports like Spartanburg to go ahead and provide an opportunity for young people to actually see the possibilities of what it could be like in getting involved in aviation. Favorite part of the program was definitely the glider flight. It was absolutely exhilarating and it was like nothing I've ever experienced. I was not expecting it to be quiet. I was expecting it to be like harsh and you know, it was just amazing. I would describe it as pretty amazing, awesome, epic. You learn something every week in every different class. It brings you something new, so I enjoyed that. I would say what surprised me the most would be just the complexity of the plane, from changing the oil to getting to see the structure of it and flying it and knowing you have to make sure to be always on top of safety and everything. Because I just thought, like the Hollywood version, oh, you just fly, it's you know, so relaxing everything. But in reality, you have to be always on top of the game, make sure you're in your control and everything, and it's a high leadership position to be in. My name is Joseph Klusen. Uh, before taking this program, I kind of never thought I would actually be able to get into a career in aviation, but after taking it, I learned that it's actually very possible and a career in aviation is a very realistic goal I could have. Hi, I'm Mary Levins and I'm the Executive Director of the Spartanburg Science Center. Being in a STEM-based program can afford you scholarships. As you enter your sophomore year, even the Life Scholarship in South Carolina jumps. Trying to break those walls down and saying, anybody can do that. We saw it in our robotics program and now we're really seeing it in the aviation program. 